muck it up. Don't do too much to it. Uh, a lot of butter. A lot of butter and a pinch of salt is all you need. A lot of butter on that bun and a toasted bun. Cook your own lobster. Toss with a little mayo, maybe a little cucumber, a little celery. But what's also nice, and some people do it here, you can do a warm lobster roll. Warm. Warm it up with a little bit of butter, a little lemon juice, maybe a little garlic, maybe a little Old Bay, and serve that on a warm bun. Cook it at home in salt water. Pick the meat yourself. Put it on a really nice piece of bread. A little mayo, a little butter. You'll have a great roll. The cooking of the lobster is really important. So we do a lot of herbs, aromatics, and seasoning into the water. Don't overcook the lobster. Um, and then we just stick to the basics, chives, shallots, uh, celery, lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, clarified butter, herbs, and mayo. I think the biggest mistake I see people making think that they want to make something extravagant and put a whole bunch of ingredients in there. Leave it alone. Great fresh lobster, not overcooked can't be beat. The secret to a perfect lobster roll is the perfect lobster. It's all about the lobster. Lobster should be unadorned. It should be, it should, uh, it should take ingredients that make the lobsteriness of lobster show. Uh, a little bit of lemon. We do a fresh homemade mayo, a tad of celery, maybe one or two uh, bites, you know, per roll, a great bun, and butter. Lobster rolls are about lobster, end of conversation.